The offshore world has changed. And one of the things that I try and do here at Nomad Capitalist is tell people how things work now, both operationally and legally. I've said that bank secrecy is dead. Hiding your money in Swiss banks is dead. Hiding your money from the tax man doesn't work anymore. But in this video, I do want to share two ways which you can still legally enjoy bank secrecy. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson. Countries like where I'm at right now in Singapore have built up tremendous wealth hubs attracting foreign capital because countries like Switzerland dropped the mantle. Part of that was around the fact that so many people were going to Switzerland and they were hiding their money in Swiss banks. And as I said, that is not going to work now in the 21st century. If you are particularly a US or other Western citizen, that's just not going to work. But there are two things you can do. The first thing is you can legally give up your taxpayer status in your home country and go and live in a country where they don't care about your banking details. So if you are a U.S. citizen or a U.S. permanent resident, that means giving up your U.S. taxpayer status, renouncing your citizenship, because until you do, the IRS and the Treasury Department want to know where your money is. If you're a citizen of another Western country, Canada, Australia, UK, what have you, that means becoming legally tax non-resident, not just leaving and hoping you're not paying, but actually being formally tax non-resident. Once you have lost that tax status in your home country, you can move to a country that doesn't care about your information. Let's take Georgia, for example. Georgia has a territorial tax system. If you earn money in the correct way, you can live in Georgia and not pay tax on your foreign earned income. Georgia is also not part of CRS, the Common Reporting Standard. Now, they are part of FATCA, so that's where the U.S. comes into play, but they're not part of the Common Reporting Standard. So that means that if you're banking here in Singapore, Singapore may ask you, hey, where do you pay tax? Okay, Georgia, great. Georgia won't really care. And so if you find a country that's not set up to receive the information, uh, and if you have a legal ability to get out of the tax system where they do want the information, then that's potentially a way to get bank secrecy. The challenge with that is some of these countries that, that sign up for the CRS or don't sign up for the CS may still receive information, or they may not even have a way to receive the information. So it differs country by country. The second thing you can do to enjoy bank secrecy is something that a friend of mine actually brought up recently, and it makes a very good point. And that is that in countries such as some in South America, South Africa, Russia, and some of the former post-Soviet states, bank secrecy is not only an issue of hiding money from the tax man, but an issue of not getting into trouble with criminals, not raising suspicions. So I had someone recently who came to me. He had been running a business in Mexico, and he said, we keep our balances in our Mexican banks low because the drug cartels, he says, will come and they will give you uh, money if you're a banker and say, who has the money? And then we're going to go and shake them down. Now, I certainly think in a lot of countries that's become less of an issue uh, over the years, but certainly it is still an issue for some people, whether real or perceived. And so the idea of bank secrecy is that let's say you go and open an account in Switzerland. There are still people who say that Switzerland is a great place for bank secrecy. I don't believe that's the case. But in the sense of the compliance department knowing your banking information and your banker knowing your information and not having it shared amongst a whole bunch of people, you can still enjoy bank secrecy if your issue is, how am I protecting my money from a criminal or from someone in my family who doesn't deserve the money, they're, they're coming after me and they, they think that they deserve part of that money, or from anyone else who's outside of the government who might want to have a claim to your money. And that way, fewer people knowing about your information could be potentially helpful. But on the whole, globally speaking, bank secrecy in the way that you've thought about it is dead. If you're looking for a limited number of people to know your information, then I would suggest that you go to the wealth hubs. Singapore and Switzerland are the two most common wealth hubs that we talk about here. Singapore, I believe, is the 21st century wealth hub. But if you're looking for that old school wealth hub, and if you're looking for more of those protections against the 
unknowns, then Switzerland might be worth considering as well. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes, build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. Definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.